I'm going to ask Tom and Lucy to join me on the platform, if you would. While they're coming, let me um, remind you of a milestone date in the more recent history of Calvary. April 1st, 1992, a fresh-faced young pastor and his wife <laughs> we need to go back in the archives and get a picture of Lucy, I think. Because you, you never age, so I think you'd look the same. <laughs> but uh, this year marks 30 years to celebrate um, the senior pastor. <laughs> Amen. I think they love you. As you know, over those 30 years, Tom has faithfully and obediently followed the command of Scripture to preach the Word. But we've also seen his passion to move that gospel outside of these four walls. And yet Tom would be the first one to warn us that it's not all about him. Kingdom Assignments, Sharefest, Micah 6 8, taking our mission to the communities of Erie and Thornton. Those were all works of God. And yet we know that God does work through visionary leaders. And we're thankful, Tom, and to Lucy as well, for your faithful partnership and for your leadership of Calvary over these 30 years. Kevin Compeline who was the president of the EFCA, sends this greeting. He needed a really big envelope. <laughs> Dear Tom and Lucy, it gives me a great joy to express thanks and deep appreciation to you, both personally and on behalf of the EFCA, for 30 years of faithful and fruitful ministry at Calvary Bible Church. The Lord has worked in and through you to touch the lives of so many people with the love of Christ and the message of the gospel over these, these past three decades. Your love for the Lord and his people is an encouragement to those of us who know you and have seen from a distance how he has worked through your ministry at Calvary Bible Church. May the Lord continue to bless and care for you both as you continue to serve him in the days to come. Know that you are loved and appreciated by so many of us. Serving the Savior together, Kevin Compeline, EFCA president. So on behalf of the staff and elders and a very loving congregation, we hope you'll accept this as a, just a small token of our appreciation for your faithful service. We love you. Love you both. Do you want to say anything? Let me, uh, let me pray for Tom and Lucy. Mm. Father, we thank you for the faithful service of two faithful servants. We pray your blessing on their ministry here in the days ahead. We pray that you would continue to honor and bless and protect them and their family. And I pray, Father, that for us, that we would be faithful to the message that we've heard and that we would be true ambassadors for Christ, both near and far. In the name of Christ, our Savior, amen. We love you. You too, thank you.
That's very gracious. I th I, we appreciate that. Um, it's hard to believe 30 years has come and gone. Lucy looked at those two pictures and said, you should tell them that's what they did to you. That's what you ended up. It's <laughs> like you were learning after. Um, 1992 is a long time ago. I've always thought April Fool's Day was an interesting time to come <laughs> to Calvary. Uh, but whatever uh, mercy of God has been on our church and grace to us um, is by his calling in my life. He called me. His gifting, he gifts through the Holy Spirit. So whatever has happened here is because of the Lord's doing by his gifting and his call from a really a spiritual perspective above, from a human perspective, uh, the ability to have any um, modicum of, I won't call it success, but longevity for 30 years in the ministry of being a pastor to a church like Calvary is um, due to one particular reason, and she's sitting right over there. Hey, I, I've said to some in other circles, I, I could never be a pastor of what it takes to be a pastor in today's world over the last 30 years with all of the demands for all of you um, and the growing ministry without a, a wife like Lucy. So um, a thousand, if not a million unseen sacrifices on her part um, made this possible for me to be here. The longevity of that, she, she has supported and prayed and served. I mean, she's been up on the second floor for 30 years uh, teaching kids and supporting me, praying for me. And I'm really grateful to you. And lastly, I'm grateful uh, over the years that I've been here, I've been supported by elders who, who love God, pray for our church, and have loved me and corrected me, um, called me in for. Uh, some on-the-job training in the early <laughs> years. I, I remember being in a circle with a group of elders who um, corrected me. I'm grateful for that. And more recently, I have a team of people with John and Thomas and Gary <clears throat> who are just good friends. And they love God, and they grew up here. They found Christ here, and they got called to the ministry and now they're my colleagues, and they support me, and it just helps. Uh, to stay a long time, uh, I never thought I would stay 30 years here, especially in the first seven. I thought, I, I just didn't think I would make it. And I didn't, I had never been a senior pastor before, so I was new, and you've been gracious. I've learned a lot. I've grown up a lot. And those of you who have been here for more than 30 years, you endured a lot in the early years, especially. So uh, it was a, it was a it's been a long run, and I'm thankful that God kept me here. There were a couple times I looked for a way out, and God just kept me here to be to be in this place. And I'm thankful that He did. I think the fruit of that is still yet to be told as God's raising up young men and sending them out. I'm very thankful for that. So you've been gracious and patient, and you've prayed for me, and I'm. I, I love that. I see your faces, and I've, I've known some of you for all these 30 years, and I'm glad for that. Um, it's a joy. <laughs>